Hi guys, today I'll show you exactly how to record anything from regular sleepover hours to those middle of the night active periods at Employment Hero Payroll to ensure your employees are paid correctly every time. As Australia's payroll automation specialists, we've helped hundreds of SHADS providers get this right. So you'll learn how to record the pre-sleepover shift, set up the sleepover allowance, capture any active hours during the night and process the morning shift, all while ensuring minimum hour requirements are met. So I'm looking at this from a perspective of creating timesheets on behalf of an employee. Um, most likely for yourselves, your employees are going to be clocking in and clocking out um, or maybe entering timesheets retrospectively on the swag app or using shift care. Um, but yeah, for this example, I'm just going to be looking at it from a perspective of creating timesheets on behalf of an employee. So we're going to look at it like a 6 to 10 p.m. active hour shift. So we'll say 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Then we're going to go into the sleepover portion of the shift, which is going to be the 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. shift. And there's going to be a 30 minute wake up time um, between 1 a.m. and 1.30 a.m. So how, the, how we're going to record that is uh, the employee will clock in at 6 p.m. and then clock out at 10 p.m. Then what they're going to do is they'll clock back in to their next shift at 10 p.m. And they're going to select the sleepover um, shift type um, for this shift. And any inactive sleepover time has to be allocated against this work type. Um, now, if there was a case where an employee were to wake up in the middle of the night, what they'll have to do is clock out. So we're going to say 1 a.m. And then what they're going to do is they're going to clock back in under the work type work during sleepover. And then they just add in the times that they um, worked during awake time. So we'll say 1 a.m. to we'll say 1.30 a.m. And then after that, they're going to clock back into their sleepover shift. From 1.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. And then we're going to say that they've maybe worked um, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So we'll say 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So you can see the way the shifts are formatted here. Um, just to break it down, there's the 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. of active time worked. So that has been recorded as one timesheet entry. Then we have the sleepover portion of the shift, which is recorded from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in total. Um, but I can see that it's been split into two because there was a time during that sleepover shift that the employee woke up and worked some active time. So in that case, you would need to end the first portion of the sleepover shift at the time that they wake up. And then you would need to um, create a new timesheet entry um, with the work type work during sleepover and then have the start and end time of those active times worked. If there was a case where there was multiple hours or multiple times that they woke up, they would have to enter this new timesheet entry uh, multiple times. Um, then we have the second portion of the sleepover. So when they go back to sleep, the 1.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. And then finally, we have the 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. of active hours that was worked the next morning. And over here, I can hover over the cost breakdown and we can have a look to see what was paid. So we have the 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, active time work before and after the sleepover shift are both paid at night shift. Um, then we have uh, any of the actual sleepover time isn't paid at an hourly rate. You can see that it says none. Um, and then underneath in the allowances section, you can see that a sleepover allowance has been paid. Uh, now for that 1 a.m. to 1.30 uh, a.m. of active time worked during the sleepover shift, we can see that overtime 1.5 was paid. Um, there is a minimum of one hour that must be paid. So, so you can see there's an additional 30 minutes paid in there as well.